the Dead Money Sports Playoff Show. It's finally the NFL Conference Championship Games. Two games to determine who's going to play in the Super Bowl. We've got in the first game, the San Francisco 49ers going across the country to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. And in the second game, it's the Cincinnati Bengals heading to Kansas City to take on the Chiefs. Uh, two exciting games. Uh, we've basically got a matchup of the four best teams in the NFL. So uh, these should be uh, entertaining to say the least. I certainly think both of these games will be close, hard fought. I don't expect to see any blowouts this weekend. But I think, I think we got, as NFL fans, the best matchups for these two games to determine who gets to represent the conferences in the Super Bowl. I'm excited for it. Uh, you know, it's the end of the season. It's sad in some ways, but it's also uh, kind of, you know, it's, it's the culmination of a long season. And thankfully, we get to see the four best teams in the NFL represented in each conference, battling it out to go to the Super Bowl. So I've got the picks that I like for the two conference championship games. Let's get into it with the first game. So the first game for Conference Championship Sunday is the San Francisco 49ers heading across the country to Philadelphia to take on the Eagles. Uh, the Eagles right now are minus 2.5. The total for this game is 46.5. And, and the money line is Philadelphia around minus 140. Uh, this is going to be a great battle. We've got the two best teams in the NFC represented in this game. So I'm excited to see it. I think this is going to be entertaining and it's going to come right down to the to the final possession of the game. I don't expect to see a blowout on either side. But in the end, I'm going with the home team money line. I'm going to take Philadelphia minus the 140 money line. I'm not going to take the minus two and a half. I'm willing to pay the juice to just get it with the Eagles to win this game because Quite honestly, this could this could be a one or two point game. I could certainly see it working out in that way. So, especially with uh, a coach like Sirianni, who is willing to go for two uh, after a touchdown, it could throw off the math and lead this to being a, a, like a two point game. So, I'm sticking with the money line. Give me the Eagles, and I really think this is a very equally matched. Uh, game between these two teams, but I just think Philadelphia's experience at quarterback and the lack of experience at quarterback for the 49ers is going to be the difference in this game. And with Philadelphia, they laid the lead, they led the league in sacks with 70 sacks this year. They had 15 more than the second team, and of those 70 sacks. I think right around 60 of those were from their defensive linemen, their front four. So that means that 60 out of their 70 sacks came without having to blitz a linebacker. And if they can get pressure on the quarterback with only four and they can drop seven in the coverage, I think they'll be able to confuse Brock Purdy into making a couple of mistakes. And that's going to be the difference in this game. Other than that, that is like the only glaring difference between these two teams. I mean, they are equal on defense. Their offenses are prolific. They've got good special teams. They've got good coaching. So when I'm factoring this game, the only difference I can see, and of course, obviously, being home field for the Eagles is always a benefit, especially in front of that crowd that you know is going to be crazy with their Eagles and an opportunity to go to the Super Bowl. So Brock Purdy's going into a very uh, hostile environment in this NFC Championship game. And the pressure of that with the uh, defensive game plan that I think the Eagles will be able to implement should be enough to get them the victory. Now, as far as the total in this game, again, we've got two Great defenses going up against one another. The total is 46 and a half. And I'm going to actually go with the over in this game. 
And I think it's going to be because of the defenses that this game goes over. I expect both defenses to be able to create turnovers that could generate points either directly by the defense or by giving their offensive units short fields that lead to uh, uh, either easy touchdowns or field goals. Both of these teams have very reliable field goal kickers. Uh, the weather in uh, Philadelphia, it's not going to be the greatest for kicking, so we could also see these teams going for it on fourth down uh, if they're in that no-man zone uh, on the opponents, say, in between the, the 40 and the 50-yard line. So I really expect points in this game, even though we've got two great defenses going up against one another. We've also got two really good offenses going up against one another, and it could be just enough to get this over. I think this is about a 49-point total, so maybe 50, like a, I don't know, 27-23 or 27-24, somewhere in that area. I don't think it's going to be a uh, uh, you know, like a 60 point total, but I certainly think it goes over the 46 and a half. So for the first game of conference championship Sunday between the San Francisco 49ers and the Philadelphia Eagles, I'm going to go with the Philadelphia Eagles money line minus 140. And I'm also going to go with the over 46 and a half. So our second game for conference championship Sunday has the Cincinnati Bengals Heading to Kansas City to take on the Chiefs. Now the line for this game is somewhere between a pick em and minus one for the Bengals. The total is 47 right now. And again, the money line with it being one or a pick em, it's basically minus 110 for either side. So you can shop around for better numbers, but it's basically sitting at a pick em right now. This is a rematch of last year's AFC Championship game where the Cincinnati Bengals went into Arrowhead and pulled off the upset. And under with Joe Burrow at quarterback, uh, the Bengals have really owned the Chiefs in Arrowhead over the last couple of seasons. And now they're going up against the Chiefs team with a wounded Patrick Mahomes. Now he suffered that severe high ankle sprain last week. I'm sure he'll play. They'll probably, you know, tape it up real tight, make it immobile, probably take some pain meds before the game starts. But it certainly limits his effectiveness, particularly with his mobility, because we've seen Patrick Holmes use his legs either to buy time for the passing game or to scramble uh, when his team needs the yard. So taking that ability away from Patrick Mahomes is really going to box him in as far as the offense is concerned in this game. And I think that in itself is going to be enough for the Cincinnati Bengals. So I'm going with the Bengals in this game. Uh, I got them as a pick em. So try to shop around and hopefully you can find the best number you can get. But I like the Bengals to win this game straight up. I think that the injury to Patrick Mahomes is going to really affect the offense. I think that the Bengals will be able to contain the running game of the Kansas City Chiefs without the threat of Patrick Mahomes scrambling and making off-script plays. And I think the Bengals will be able to score enough points in this game to get the victory outright against a decent Kansas City Chiefs defense. But we've seen that their secondary can uh, be a little suspect if the uh, offense or the defensive line isn't getting pressure on the quarterback. We saw last week the snow in Buffalo really slow down uh, the Bills' pass rush against the Bengals. They're not going to have the benefit of that weather conditions. It looks like they won't have it in Kansas City. But I think this offensive line will be able to hold up enough to keep Joe Burrow upright and allow him time to pass the ball downfield. I expect the Bengals to also run the ball uh, to try to set up the play action. I think they're going to use the run game a little bit more than what we've seen in previous games uh, against this Kansas City Chiefs team. I think it'll be enough to keep them off balance and allow Joe Burrow to get the ball to his elite wide receivers. And again, I just think that with Patrick Mahomes being injured, 
and the Cincinnati Bengals defense being uh, very good, particularly making adjustments in the second half of the games, I think we're going to see them win this game. So I'm going to take the Cincinnati Bengals as a pick em or money line in the 110 to 115 range. Uh, if you can find that, that's what I would take. Now the total for this game is sitting at 47. And I'm going to take the under because, again, I think the Chiefs will look to run the ball with Pacheco and uh, McKinnon to try to uh, eliminate some of the pass rush and blitzes that I think Cincinnati is going to throw at them with Patrick Mahomes', Patrick Mahomes mobility being limited. And I also expect the Bengals to use the run game a lot more to try to keep the Kansas City Chiefs defense off balance and set up the play action for their passing game. I think both of these teams will look to run the ball. That's going to eat up the clock. And subsequently, I think this is going to be a low-scoring game, maybe somewhere in the 24 to 21 range, so just under that 47 total. So I'm going to go with the under as my pick for the total in the second game. So for the second game of the Conference Championship Sunday between the uh, Cincinnati Bengals and the Kansas City Chiefs, I'm going with the Bengals, pick them, or minus one, or money line. Uh, and I'm also going to go with the under 47. Well, those are my picks for Conference Championship Sunday. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Head on over to deadmoneysports.com and subscribe so you can get access to all the other content that we have on our website. Be sure to hit the notification bell so you can get notified of when all the other content on YouTube comes out. And be sure to check out the Right Number Prop Show for the Conference Championship Games here on Dead Money Sports on YouTube. Well, to everybody who's joined me throughout the season, this has been a roller coaster ride. I've really enjoyed it. I'll be coming to you with a Super Bowl show, so be sure to check that out as well. But thanks to everybody out there. I hope you all make a lot of money, and thanks for watching.